Uh, too sexy for my robe. Too sexy for my robe. Too sexy, yeah. What's up, everybody? Welcome to my channel. My name is Kristen Leanne. If you've never heard of me, you might, if you wanna keep it that way, you can exit out of the video right now. I talk a lot. I use only cruelty-free products on my channel. And today's video is going to be trying out a bunch of new products. I was just gonna do my makeup today because I was gonna film something else. But then I just saw a bunch of new products that were laying around. And if you know what's going on in my life right now, you know that I'm packing up my entire home and moving across the country to Nashville, Tennessee. So a lot of makeup and a lot of new stuff is in boxes, but I did just have some random bits and bobs like hanging around like the Huda Beauty Neon Palette. This new makeup company that I've literally never heard of, just let me give you a peek of that. Yeah. So we're gonna do this full face that you see right here using these products. Some of these products I've seen some tutorials on and they were less than favorable. Let's go ahead and jump right in. But before we do, I wanna give a shout out to my stepmom, Karen. She just launched her own business on Etsy. It's called Sage Mountain Organics and she makes this really lovely salve. This is really good for cellulite, crepey skin, and just overall moisturizing. It's all organic ingredients. It's got shea butter, coconut oil, honey, lavender oil, and tea tree oil. So this is just really good for hydrating your skin. This can be really good for your elbows, your feet. So she just opened her little Etsy shop and her Instagram and it's so cute. She like brings me her phone this morning. I was at their house and she's like, Hey, so check out my Instagram. And she's like scrolling through it. And like one of the photos is like so freaking blurry. And I'm like, Karen, I love what you did with the Instagram. But that, that, that one photo is <laughs> really, really blurry. And it was just so cute. She's like really getting into it. Let's see. This is also good for eczema, rashes, dark spots. So really good for your elbows. If you're like my mom, my mom has like really dark elbows, blemishes, scars, skin discolorations, dryness, itchiness, dermatitis, skin allergies, swelling, arthritis, cuticles, chapped lips, and more. She's been using this for a really long time and she swears that it's gotten rid of the cellulite on her legs like she swears by it so she hand makes this and if you want to support a small business i will leave her instagram so you can go like that blurry photo and i will leave her etsy link in the description box below so thank you in advance for checking that out and supporting small businesses I need to go put some clothes on. <laughs> so let's go ahead and jump right into the video and I'll show you guys how some of these new products performed and we'll see what happens. All right, let's get into this. I have my thing of goodies. Oh, geez, that we're gonna try right here. Okay, so we're gonna start with the eyes because I would like to do some eyeshadow palettes. One that is from a brand that I've literally never heard of before. I don't know if you guys have heard for it, heard of it. It is called Hip Dot. The packaging is pretty cool. I'm like, how much is my background? Um, because each one kind of looks like kind of a different natural stone, which I thought was really cool. This is the pressed glitter palette. And are you ready for this? I don't know if you're ready for this. Oh my gosh. So I wanted to try this out. This is like so pretty. I'm gonna mix this with the Huda Beauty Neons. Now I've heard and seen mixed things about these, so I'm really interested to dive into one and see what we think. This came to me in a pack of three. They are $29 a piece. The packaging is really, really cool. I watched um, at one of Atlee's like reviews on this. She did a look with each palette. This is the first one. This one, I agree with what Atlee said. It, uh, these shades with the lime green just don't make any sense to me either. Some of these shades like, look really cool, but I just don't imagine putting a lime green with that. It's a little bit of a miss on that one for me. I don't think I'll use that one. I guess they're just all called neon. I don't really know how to differentiate. I don't see a name on this or anything. This is the more orangey pink one. This one is really cool. I really like these shades together. I think they look pretty awesome. I might end up using that one. And then, oh, I really like the color scheme on this one. This is, oh, I don't know. This one's really pretty too. These just look like heaven together. They're just so aesthetically pleasing. So these are $29 each. Seems like a lot for just the few shadows that you get. I, like I'm so used to like Morphe palettes nowadays that like, I don't know, I don't know. Also these little mini palettes that Huda has done, they've, I've had quite a few misses with these before where the pigment has been super patchy for me and just like not really working out. And then we've got this one. Now I, 
need to look up how much this is, but it's really hard to tell. But this, these, this one is not filled all the way. Like, I don't know if you can see the other side of the pan right there, but it's like, I don't know if these are hand pressed. A few of these pans just aren't filled up all the way. Like these look like they've been used. Like there's a divot in them. So that's kind of weird. The back of this says that it's cruelty-free, vegan, paraben-free, talc-free, mineral oil, free, petroleum, free. Okay. So this palette is $30, which I think is a pretty good deal. You can actually get a trio of three of these, um, not all glitter. The other ones have eyeshadows too for $84. So that's pretty cool. I'm gonna be using the glitter kind of on its own, like not on its own, but like on top of the shadow. So let's just go ahead and get started. I'm gonna prep my eyelid area. Today I'm gonna be using the Tarte Found Sealer. I'm just gonna prep the eyelid area and I've never used this stuff before. So we're just gonna have to see how it works out. I don't even know if you're supposed to use this eyelid concealer multitasking foundation okay this is foundation I'm gonna actually go in with the Jouer full coverage concealer just so I have a base that I'm familiar with it's Sunday today when I'm filming this and I seriously just want another like three Sundays after this love a good Sunday I'm going to lightly powder on top of my eyes with the Huda Beauty powder usually just a little light powdering but I pretty much always do this so I'm just gonna set this up like normal I've been messing around on my hand and I kind of still don't don't know what to do I don't know we're just gonna go for it like this is what I have to do when I can't decide I just have to start putting color on my face I'm gonna go in with this guy right here we're gonna kind of do like a little halo eye so lighter here I'm just gonna that is so pigmented holy heck just gonna start packing this on on the outer edge okay I'm pretty impressed with that so far this is so freaking pigmented <laughs> I don't think I was ready for this. This is like so far too good to be true. I'm gonna dip into both of these right here to kind of start blending this out to get a nice like kind of coral shade going. There's a bit of fallout on the face, but I would honestly expect more with how much pigment I've laid down. So far, this is working pretty well. I haven't run into any like alarming snags yet. I'm gonna grab this one right here and just add a little bit of this kind of towards, that didn't do much. I'm gonna grab a smaller brush. Just gonna do a little bit of that towards the inner corner. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and take this shade right here and I'm gonna put it in the center of the eyelid. I'm not trying to flip you guys off right now. This just seemed like the best finger to use. This looks, I thought it was like more like a green, but it's kind of more like a yellow. We're gonna go in with some glitter and I'm gonna assume with this glitter palette, you're supposed to probably use glitter glue. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab some glue. So the glitter that I'm gonna go in with here is this one because it has kind of a little reflection of like lime green in it. Kind of weird, it kind of peels off like, I don't know if you can see this kind of comes off like sand. A palette of glitter honestly is like what dreams are made of. <laughs> My dreams anyway. Okay, that looks so pretty on top. The kind of weird thing about this palette though is like how many pinks and purples do you need? Like purple, 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 pinky purple, another pink one. There's a lot of purple, purple in that palette. Okay, so that glitter is really pretty. I mean, with the glitter, it's like we need to try more of that to see, but I mean, glitter's glitter for the most part. Like if you use glitter glue, you should be fine. It looks like you might be able to just stick this right on your face and it's going to look like thick glitter. But the truth is when you grab it and you put it on, it's more like that. So you kind of have to layer it over top of like a purple, unless you're doing like a really glossy like eye, like editorial kind of look and you're just piecing glitter in there. Before we go in with anything else here, let's go ahead and do our base. Um, I don't know what shade I am in this right now. I may not even have a light enough one. So we're just gonna go for it and I might have to like tan my chest, but this is the Tarte Multitasking Foundation called Found Sealer with Broad Spectrum SPF 20. That's pretty cool. This is in the shade 22N. The Tarte Found Sealer is $39 and it comes with one fluid ounce of product. I'm gonna be using um, the Tarte Shape Tape 
pour and prime balm for this. I've been using this for the past few days and really been liking how it like fills in my fine lines and pores and all that good stuff. So it says that the benefits are that it helps hydrate and give the appearance of plumper skin while minimizing the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. It protects skin with SPF 20, which is great. If you want light coverage, you can apply it with your fingertips. That just makes me cringe so hard. I love you, Sandra. Don't know how you do it. Light to medium coverage. Use the Bound Stealer Latex Free Sponge. I don't know where that sponge is, to be quite honest with you. So, so it looks like you're not really gonna get a full coverage with this. So let's just see how it performs. Um, try not to pay attention to the shade. I don't think it's gonna match, but this is all I have. I'll just start laying this on top and see how it looks. I have never applied my foundation with my fingers. Have you guys, like, I don't know if I could even do that. So it's vegan. It says it gives a natural radiant finish and medium customizable coverage so you can live your day your way. For me, this is doing a decent amount of covering. You can kind of see over here my discoloration and this has kind of masked that. I don't have any large breakouts right now. Praise Jesus, hallelujah. I can still see a little bit of my discoloration right here. So let's see if I can just apply a little bit more over top and kind of control the coverage levels. That worked a little bit better to kind of cover that up. I've been so obsessed lately with my foundation that I've been really liking the Hourglass Vanish foundation, this one. So it was like really hard for me to want to put a foundation here to try today because I'm filming some other videos after this for my animal channel here on YouTube. And I was like, oh, I just need this shit to last all day. Like, I don't know if I want to give another one a shot. Hopefully it doesn't let me down. So far I'm liking the coverage. Like I like that you can kind of control and just add like a little bit more. My skin still looks like skin and feels like skin. And so if you're somebody that doesn't really have like any kind of scars or imperfections like that on your face um, that you're trying to like cover and mask, this might be really good for you. It's like, I feel like it's like a heavier duty BB cream. Like it feels pretty lightweight and it still looks like skin, which I really like. It's also not too dewy. Like it mentioned that it gives like a nice luminous finish, but this is like a good amount of like luminance for me. Is luminance a word? I don't even know. Did I just make that up? I'm gonna go back over to my Jouer concealer and just use this under the eyes. Like everything that's talked about in this video will be linked um, for you in the description box in case you wanna check it out. It's, even if it's not like one of the new products I'm using here. This foundation looks really good. Take back what I said about not wearing this to an event because like with the powder and everything, I feel like it really pulls this together. You can still see like a freckle under my skin here too. I kind of like that because it kind of, oh, there's like glitter falling down. Um, it kind of still makes the skin look more natural. And actually we didn't do too terrible with the shade here. <laughs> Not bad. I did my brows and kind of the rest of the eyes off camera here. I also did a little bit of contour since I'm not testing anything new for contour today because I don't have anything new. The lashes that I have on right now are just these LA Splash 3D Foam Ink Falsies um, in Phantom. They come in this cute little box. We're gonna move on to something that I'm really skeptical about right now. Um, <laughs> these are these little blush and highlight kits by ColourPop. So I have these three. It has a highlight as well as a bl like two blush shades inside. These are both blush sticks and then we have a light stick. First, we're gonna go in with the light stick. Um, this is what it looks like. This is how much product you get. They're kind of heavy. Like, I don't know if I would travel with these. I like that you can see the shade on the lid. That's really helpful. I think I'll do the blush first. I did powder my face a little bit. Typically, I never put cream blush over top of powder, but I forgot that we were doing cream blush, so we're just gonna have to see how this goes. There are a few different ways to apply this type of blush. You can put it on your finger first and then dab it on and dab it in and let it melt in, or you can do it on the bottom of a beauty blender, or you can do it with a brush, or you can just put it right on your face like this. I am going to put it on my finger I feel like I'm gonna have the most control this way. So I'm just going to apply this. One thing that always freaks me out about cream blush is it usually will remove your foundation. And so typically I don't even mess with it, um, but let's just see what happens here. Not bad. It's not really removing my foundation, so that's good. 
One time I really like cream blushes is, is if you're doing like a really light makeup look, like whether it's in the gym or whatever, you just wanna look like you like didn't just crawl out of a coffin. You can do it with like BB cream and it looks really natural cause it kind of melts into the skin, making it look a lot more natural than like a powder blush. Cream blushes hold a special place in my heart, but I just don't pull them out very often. Okay, I think that did like a pretty good job. Um, yeah. Now, I'm gonna go in with this one. This one is called Star Bright. And I'm gonna kinda do this the same way. I don't know if you can see them on camera, but there's a few little larger chunks of glitter, which I'm not always really a big fan of. Um, ColourPop seems to do that a lot. And it's okay when you have 20 year old skin, but I also feel like the purposes of cream, again, is with like a lighter makeup look usually. No highlight is complete without a little chin glow, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna take a little bit of this actually and put it on my brow bone. Oh yeah, oh yeah. All right, these are cool. Like I didn't think these were gonna work as well as they did. I don't hate it. I like it, I'll keep them. I was actually gonna give all of them away and then I just tried them. Next is these lipsticks. Now I did just use this kind of lipstick. It's the Full Force Lipstick by Buxom and it's kind of like tingly on your lips. Like one of my last photos that I uploaded in that kind of pinkish purple wig, I was wearing the shade Badass and I really, really liked it. So I wanted to try more shades in this. So this shade is Icon. It's like tingly and it's like super moisturizing. I really like this stuff. Okay, last but not least, I'm literally naked down here. So good thing the camera's not moving. Okay, so I wanted to try, this is the, oh, this is so heavy. This is the Huda Beauty Nymph Body Highlighter in Luna. Now I tried a different shade once and I'm wondering if it's gonna be the same with this. See what had happened was I put it on and then it was just really thick and like I ended up looking really streaky. It's almost like when um, cream eyeshadow gets like clumpy or something, that's kind of how it felt. So I really don't know how this brush is gonna work with this. It's like so amazing. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. See how it's doing that right there? You see that? That's what I'm talking about. So I, see how it's sticking? Look at that. I really think that this needs to be mixed with a lotion. So let's go ahead and mix this with a moisturizer and see what happens. And I'm gonna take a little bit of, this is the Tatcha water cream. And let's just see how this looks because I think this is gonna work so much better if it can just be broken up a little bit. Okay, that's working way better for me. So it's a little bit less like opaque. Oh my gosh, I got it in my hair. No, dang it. This just was able to like glide over so much easier without there being any like weird clumps of pigment stuck together. This stuff is really, really beautiful. Like, I think it's awesome. Honestly too, like I feel like you have to put it on your face because now my body is, like I have highlighted my face and my body is just like outshining my face. How is, how does this look on the face? Shall we try it out? Let's try it out. We have nothing to lose. There we go, that's a little better. Okay, so you can use it on your face too. Here we are at the end of the video. Um, I'm actually really impressed today because I thought I was gonna hate a few things that I used and I'm pleasantly surprised. This Neon Huda Beauty Palette, granted this is the only one that I used and I used only one, two, three, four, five shades out of it. Um, I didn't use these guys right here. That looks amazing. I am really impressed with this. I guess I'm not super impressed with it, but I, I, based on what I was expecting after seeing some other people's videos, I thought it was gonna be complete shit and I wasn't gonna like it. Also granted, I haven't tried this one. Oh, this color palette just oh, speaks to my soul in ways that you'll never know. This one, I don't think I'll be keeping. I mean, the shade in the center is really cool, but 
been there, done th done that, seen it before. I don't know, these shades don't really go together in my opinion. So looking at the ColourPop blush sticks, I thought that these performed a lot better than I expected. I really thought that they were gonna remove my foundation. There's a really fine line between a good cream blush that doesn't do that and one that melts into your skin. This really stood the test of that. I didn't put a whole lot on, but, um, and I used my finger, which, you know, there's our oils on the bottom of your fingertips. So it's probably better to use a sponge, but sometimes a sponge can remove your foundation depending on kind of what foundation you have on, if you have powder on, etc. So maybe it did help that my foundation was kind of set, but I really liked these. Moving on to the Found Sealer by Tarte. I am pleasantly surprised by this. I thought that the coverage wasn't really gonna be quite enough for me, but I do really like the coverage. I think this is also a great foundation for if I'm just going out and about in my normal life. The finish is nice. Like I feel like you could kind of wear it, it whether you have dry skin or oily skin. What else? It's so hot in here. Um, so the glitter palette by Hip Dot, mystery cosmetics company I've never heard of until I got these in the mail. I literally don't know where they got my address. <laughs> Thanks for sending. I think this is really cool. I'm excited to play more with these glitters. I think it's really weird that some of the pans weren't filled up all the way. I think that they should work on that. The price being what it is, I'm not super mad about it, but at least fill up your pan size the whole amount. One of these palettes, I will be honest, I did put in my giveaway pile before even trying it because I didn't really like the color scheme of it. And you can head to their website and see what you think if you wanna check these out. But I think this is really cool and I really like kind of the art on the packaging. It's really fun. It kind of elevates it even though it is quite affordable. Moving on to the Buxom um, Full Force Plumping Lipstick. I really like this stuff. Um, typically I don't gravitate towards a shiny lipstick, but I just love how tingly this makes my lips feel and it makes them feel really moisturized and I've had really dry lips lately. These feel really good on my lips right now. It also feels like cooling. It feels, it feels good. I really like it. Lastly, all we have here is the Huda Beauty Nymph what the hell is this called? I already forgot. Nymph Body Highlighter. I think this is really pretty. I think that it is uh, has some clumpy pigments in it, which kind of makes it annoying to put on. And when you're putting this on, like the last thing you want when you're glowing, like a freaking goddess, is like have chunks of like highlight, like stuck. So I think using a mitt with this would be way more beneficial than this brush. If you're just putting it right here, maybe, but like how odd is that when you see somebody that has like a full on highlighted chest, but their hands are matte and like the rest of their body. Like I feel like if you're gonna do it, you've gotta do kind of the whole thing or at least all your bits and bobs that are showing. And I think adding a nice, not like a cre super creamy emollient lotion, but one that's kind of maybe water-based or just flows easily. Uh, the consistency should work well with this. And I think putting a glove on and using that over your body would be just a lot more beneficial than using this guy. <sighs> I think that was it, you guys. So thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you guys thought of the products in here. Are there any products that you guys have heard about recently that you would love for me to test out? Let me know. And if you have any video ideas that you'd like to see, also let me know in the description. I keep saying description box. I mean the comments. Let me know in the comments, all right, y'all? Thank you guys for watching. We will see you in the next video. Bye.